Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by TestMD TV. At this point, you have scheduled an appointment with my office. We have had our 15 minute meet and greet. We've both made the decision that we would like to work with each other. And at the end of the conversation, I stated to you that you will receive an email with an invitation to join the portal. In that email, it gave you the opportunity to establish a username and a password that is your password, your password only. You are the only one who has access to it. Once you establish those credentials, you will also have a link and the link will give you the opportunity to go into the portal. Sometimes it can be kind of confusing maneuvering your way through portals. I know when I first came to my physician's portal, I was confused. So I don't want you guys to feel that state of confusion. So I decided to make this slideshow so that it will answer any questions that you may have. So welcome to the patient portal instructions. This is just a table of content and it discusses the things that you and I are going to go over right now. We're going to go over how to get to the portal site, how to schedule, uh, how to confirm your appointment, how to request an appointment, how to leave me a message, how to send me a message or how to read a message that I may have sent you how to share a document, how to complete your questionnaires in preparation for your visit, how to obtain an after visit summary report. If you want to add additional medications, I will show you how to enter that information, how to enter labs that you may have had obtained at an outside facility, how to upload images and how to enter information within the wellness section of the portal. Charm Health EHR, welcome to Virtual Concierge MD. This just reiterates all of the different things that you can do within the portal. Once you receive this link, this link will take you right to where we are right now within the portal. Ta-da, here we are. So once you get here, just push sign in. Once you sign in, you have an opportunity to push on an area that shows your cute little face and your name. Your name is not dummy patient. I'm dummy patient. And as opposed to 30, I like being 22. Uh, those years were just much better for me. So, but you will put your name and your picture and your information to confirm that it's you. Just press on your cute little face and ta-da, now you're within the portal. You will get a choice of practices to select from. We have virtual concierge MD. We have Dr. Tessa Beverly Hills, and we also have Body by Tess MD. You will once again see Virtual Concierge MD just to make sure that you are within the right practice. And if you have a credit card on hold, you will see a confirmation of that credit card. Or if you need to update your credit card information, you can do so as well by clicking on the credit card figure. The timeline, how long have you been coming? How long have I been seeing her? Yeah, all those questions can be answered <laughs> right within your portal. Your portal will show your timeline of how long we have been in a relationship with one another. And some of this may be self-explanatory just by reading it, but I just want to just take this time and walk you through it because I know it can be overwhelming. After we look at the timeline, the next thing you may want to look at is your clinical summary. Your clinical summary is all of the information that I need to know about you when I first meet you, your allergies, your the language of your preference. If English is not your first language, let me know because we do have a staff that can assist us with languages outside of English. You make sure you put your preferred language in the preferred language space. Enter the information for your allergies, your medications, any of your problems, a lot of this information will be pre-populated because of the questionnaires that you complete. The widgets will allow that information to transfer over and we will discuss the questionnaires momentarily. If you would like to confirm the scheduled appointment that you have with me, it, once you're in your portal, it will tell you the date of the scheduled appointment, the time of the scheduled appointment, just in case you forget, or what kind of appointment it is. Is it a video appointment? Is it in person? Is it a house call? All that information will be contained within the portal. A lot of the information that you see 
I have written it out just for some people who may not have a chance to see this video or for people who want to see the video and who also want to read along. To request an appointment, just make sure that you click on the red circle with the white plus sign in the center, and it will give you the dates of availability along with the times. If the date is indicated in red, those dates are not available. If the date is indicated in black, those dates are available. Click on a date and it will tell you the time that is available. If it is an emergency, now keep in mind there are only certain things that are appropriately addressed in the virtual realm. Some things you may need to see an emergency room physician. So I want to state that as a disclaimer. However, if it is something that is not necessarily where you are physically experiencing an emergency, but you just really want to share some information or you really want to ask, but that's not a problem. Just because a date is red, just ask my staff and they'll get in touch with me. And there's a very good possibility that we will see you on a date that is red. Now, keep in mind, you know, we do have other things that we are involved in, in the medical realm, hospital work, house calls, lectures, conferences, speaking engagements, and so on. So it may be a hard red where we can't manipulate, but trust me, I will try to see you no matter what. So just because it's red, just know if I can be there for you, I will. This is a very, very robust software that is used by practices that may have a large amount of doctors and PAs all the way down to the boutique practice like ours. So it has a universal indicative theme, select the provider, but you know that when you hit select a provider, the only option that's going to be available to you is me. This just once again, points to the opportunity that you have to select a provider and the facility. You can select the facility as well. On this drop down, as stated, if you are a member of my personal training regimen, you may have an option to either choose from body by test MD or virtual concierge MD. Once you have requested your appointment, you can feel free to click the X to exit that window. Moving down the list, next messages. If you would like to leave a message, you can do so. So no more worry about if you're texting, will someone read your text message or will it get hacked or no, don't worry about that. We are within an encrypted HIPAA controlled environment. And my preference is anything that you want to discuss with me, you discuss it here because it will show up on our timeline. Within the message area, you have an inbox. So all the messages that you have sent in the past will be a part of this area. You can see what has been sent. You can see what is unread. If I responded to you and you didn't have a chance to read it, that information will be within this area. To send the message, you want to push send message. And I gave you a very robust area to write. You have up to 1000 characters. So just, you know, just write your heart out to dear diary. And if you want, you know, you can like do capital letters. You could add some images and you could do some hyperlinks. You know, if you want, you could just put a blog article there and I'll post it on the website. So. <laughs> But I'm just saying that you, you have a whole lot of room that you could just write your heart out and just push send. And once you're done writing, exit the window. So the next drop down should indicate documents. And once you get to documents, you will have an opportunity to sh do a shared selection. And once you push shared selection, you will have a opportunity to upload the documents. You have a document that you would like to share with me. It could be information from a outside provider. It could be one of the questionnaires that you had to print out because it was not PDF format. Once you complete printing that document out and completing it, you can scan it, put it back on your computer and then upload it into the portal. Here's an example of what it would be like to upload something from your computer into the portal. So I uploaded an image that was already stored on my computer. 
Once I click on this image, the name of the image will populate within the file name. Once you see the image populate within a file name line, push open. Once you push open, the document will be transferred over to the portal. This will be confirmed to you by you seeing the document's name within the upload files area. Push upload. Now the document has been uploaded into the portal, but the only one who is aware of this is you. So now what you want to do is you want to push share so that you can share the document with me that you have uploaded into the portal. As discussed a little bit earlier, some practices have more than one physician. So you have to write down what is the name of the care member. However, with us, it's just you and us. So once you click share, there I am. I'm looking at you. Yes. Hi. Do you want to share something with me? Yes, I do. So once you push my name, the document that you have uploaded will be shared with me with one more step. Exactly. Push the word share. And now you're done, done. You can upload more than one document at a time. So like, let's say that you needed to, um, highlight 20 documents, just highlight all 20 of them and then push upload or you can upload one document at a time. It's totally up to your preference. The next space down under documents is questionnaires. So at the end of our 15 minute visit, we have decided that we need to get you scheduled for an appointment. I will say to you, I'm going to share some documents with you that I need you to complete. A lot of those documents are questionnaires. The questionnaires will be populated within your portal. Once you are finished with those questionnaires, the ones that are PDF, just push submit and they will stay within the portal. The ones that had to be downloaded and completed, you will follow the steps that we just discussed previously under share documents. Now I'm going to pause for a second. If anything I'm saying is confusing or if you're like, what, wait a minute, what? Feel free to just send a question to the office or leave me a question in a comment. If it's not anything of a confidential nature and I will get right back with you. Now the visit is over, but you want to take this information to your primary care doctor, or we discussed a work note and you need that note so that you could show it to your employer. All of your information, all of your documents are available to you in the visit summary area. You can obtain information from our most recent visit, which will be today's visit summary all the way back to when you first started coming to the practice, show all of your visits. The next area discusses billing. At this point, we are taking pretty much credit and crypto and cash. And then we also had a membership plan, but right now the billing will just be a reserve area where you will be able to gather information with regards to the receipt for service or your invoice. Most of the visits are paid for in full prior to the onset of the visit. However, if you are a member, you may have a recurring charge at which point you would see your next upcoming invoice. If there are medications that you would like to share with me, which you may not have told me about during a visit, feel free to upload that medication information via your portal. How do we upload medications? Great question. Back to that red circle again. You just click on a red circle with the white plus in the middle and enter the information for your medication. The information that you will want to enter would include the name of the medication, the prescription strength of the medication. How often do you take the medication with meal, without meal? Because we would use this information for a possible future refill. So 
However, the information is written on your bottle. That's exactly how you want to enter the information to go into your medical record. You want to make sure you write down the start date because some medications have a stop date as well. Like for example, an antibiotic. Sometimes we forget when the antibiotic should be stopped or sometimes the previous provider forgot to tell you. Although the pharmacy is pretty good about making sure they put a stop start date on most medications. But by putting that information in your EHR, you have multiple people who are all looking out for you to make sure that you do not take a medication for too long or too short of a period of time. Different medications are given by different routes. So you want to indicate that as well. You saw your girlfriend with the supplement and she said it made her hair grow. So you wanted to take it. Let me know. Include that information so that we can have it as part of your history because some supplements are contraindicated with other medications. So you want to make sure that you bring to my attention anything that you are taking under any circumstance just so that I could be informed. Once again, that information will be entered with the red circle and the white plus sign in the middle. Labs. Let's say you obtain labs at an outside facility. If you obtain labs at an outside facility like Quest, you will want to enter that information within your portal because we will want to use that information to make additional management decisions. Or if you had labs that were drawn as part as, as, as a part of a hormonal panel, we want to make sure that that information is available to you. So if I had labs that came back after labs were drawn, we could have that information available to you here so that you could see the labs so that we could discuss them at your next virtual visit. If there are images that need to be uploaded, if you have a rash or if we are discussing a certain aesthetic procedure and you would like for me to take a close look at it, go ahead and upload those images. Our final section that we will discuss is the wellness section. If there was information that you wanted to enter in the wellness section, if we made the decision for you to do some form of biohacking, or if you just wanted to enter vital signs, let's say that with it being it's a virtual visit, I may request of you to weigh yourself at home. You would want to enter your current weight within this area and your BMI, or I could calculate that based on your weight and your height, and then I could enter your BMI for you. Let's say that we are keeping a track of your weight. You would want to enter the date and enter all of these different metrics, which we will be able to see on a graph to see which direction we're going. Like if we were monitoring your weight, if we were on the weight loss program. So this software definitely will come in handy. Oh, by the way, there is a app, a, a um, portal app that you can download so you can have access to this on your cell phone. I spoke to a young lady today and she stated, I do 8,000 steps per day. That's something I would love to know. You can go ahead and you can enter that information into your portal. Just enter it in walking or swimming or treadmill. If you guys follow me on social media, you know you see me every single day on the treadmill. I wanna see how much time you spend in your treadmill. Enter that information for me calories burned, aerobic exercise, jogging, cycling, you get to deal. How much water are you drinking? How much sleep are you getting? Or if there's something you want to enter that you don't have an option, you can enter that as an additional note. For my diabetics, I would love it if you could enter your glucose so that I could help you to keep track of your sugar to make sure we have you on the appropriate regimen. Also, if we are doing biohacking, you're going to check your sugar even if you are not a diabetic, because that is very important as far as us maintaining your glycemic index. We want to keep your glycemic index low and we keep your glycemic index low based on the foods that you eat. So diabetic or not, we may decide to monitor your glucose throughout the day on a daily basis. The next area is your blood pressure. It doesn't matter if you are hypertensive, you may be hypotensive. Your blood pressure is important. So we want to make sure we monitor that as well, especially if you are on blood pressure medication. You can click the X. You want to click on your face to exit your portal and you want to click sign out 
to make sure you are completely signed out of your portal. This is your portal to enter and exit any time that you want as many times per day as you want if there's any information this is for you there's no restriction now like let's say you enter some information into the portal and you haven't heard from me i do check the portal multiple times per day but something may slip by and i want to make sure that i pay attention to what is important to you Thank you very much for patiently going through these patient portal instructions. And if you have any further questions that I haven't answered, let me know in the description box or feel free to call the office. For those of you who have not joined my virtual practice, we'd love to have you. As it stands right now, I am licensed to take patients in Illinois, Indiana, Montana, New York, Nevada, and California. Did I say Illinois, Indiana? Montana, New York, Nevada, and California, the six. <laughs> and, but hey, you know, we're always looking to obtain additional licenses based on request. There's a lot that is offered virtually. A lot of things that we go to the doctor for, we really don't have to go see a doctor. I will have a link down in the description to describe many of the services that we have available, or if you just have general questions outside of the medical practice, feel free to join Body by Test MD, where we have virtual personal training. And I don't have to be licensed in your state. At that point, I will conduct myself as a health coach, because basically at the end of the day, what it all comes down to, if we could just keep you healthy and prevent illness from occurring, Man, we may be able to keep you on this earth for two, maybe 300 years. 